Now there was an issue that was raised in a statement about Mamangina Kenyatta. So as pertains the act, we all know that Her Excellency Mamangina Kenyatta, in her capacity as a former first lady and surviving spouse of the late President Jomo Kenyatta, is entitled to benefits amounting to 50% of her husband's pension. The three Range Rovers that Her Excellency Mamangina Kenyatta has in her possession were allocated to her by the late President Daniel Arap Moy and the late President Mwai Kibaki during their respective tenures and replaced accordingly after every three years, that is. Now, clearly, the government spokesperson said that they gave her the cars, but clearly the government of the day has not provided her with any vehicles. In fact, we would like to clarify that on the 18th of July, 2023, all her drivers and security detail allocated to her were withdrawn from their residences via phone. The claims in the media that personnel were reinstated is false. To capital, fuel cards for her vehicles were also blocked since March 2023 to date and vehicle maintenance denied. She fuels and maintains these government vehicles, one of which has been unserviceable for approximately over one year. We do note that there are other beneficiaries of the Presidential Retired Benefits Act, which include the former Prime Minister, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, the first retired Vice President, Honorable Mudia Wari, and the second retired Vice President, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. We also know that the, former, the, the current Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, was also a beneficiary of this office before his new role in the current government. While the picture painted by Mr. Maura of the government's commitment to support the office of the retired president, it saddens this office to inform the public that unfortunately that picture does not exist. And our worry as an office is a precedence that is being set by the government of the day. Their decision to blatantly ignore execution of the Presidential Act No. 11 of 2023 seems to open up a Pandora's box that will leave a retired head of state at the mercy of the government of the day. And as Martin Luther King Jr. said, injustice anywhere is a threat everywhere, whatever affects one directly or indirectly. So help us God. And we would like to clarify that this is not what we would want to happen. This is not how we would want to engage because we, expect, we respect the rule of law. However, any matters arising, we do acknowledge that there are officers concerned and we do hope that they will be able to pick it up and rest the issue.